What's up guys, today we are back with the 99 again and we're going to be installing this AEM high performance fuel pump and this ZZP high flow fuel filter. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing this fuel pump. This is gonna be a little different than just a standard fuel pump installation. But the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to get the pump that's in the car out so we can get into that and swap this pump unit out. So let's do that first and then we'll show you what we're going to do next. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get these fuel lines loose. And to do that, you're just going to push them in close, push the plastic pieces down, and then pull them back, which can be kind of difficult because it's a little bit tight in here, especially when the lines don't want to come off, which these do not seem to want to do. First one. pliers on the sides <laughs> okay there's our second line off leaving us with just this last plastic one here you got all those off we're just going to take this take this clip out just like this and then just shove these lines out of the way should be able to wiggle a little and pull and get this whole cylinder to pop up like this. And we'll pull it out. What's up guys, it's Future Me and in an attempt not to lose this video after losing a really important piece of footage, I wanna kind of explain to you the disassembly process because I had all that filmed and the file got messed up. But basically here's what's going on. You're gonna have this sender come out and it's gonna have this piece right here that's gonna be down in an outer sleeve that's got your level sender right here. And then it should have, if you've got a stock pump, this little strainer out here too. So what you're gonna do is there's gonna be two squares here and here with a little tab on that's on this piece sticking out through it. So you're gonna push those both in, lift this middle piece out, unplug the wiring from the top and from the the fuel pump itself that way you can pull the wiring out of the way and leave it out here with this outside piece then to get the pump out the pump you're going to need to remove the strainer that's inside which is this one right here when you pry that off you can actually push the entire pump assembly up it's going to have two hoses attached to it you're basically going to have on the 99s one hose that's plastic that comes down like this and attaches to it and then a little hose that, like this that actually runs out and down to this other piece so what you're gonna have to do or what I did was I cut this hose right here and I cut the big one right here because I'm gonna replace all of this but you do need to keep this smaller hose so what I did was I cut both ends off of this big hose and just replaced it with rubber hose and this little one I cut off this end and save it, I'm saving it to heat up and to put onto 
a venturi fitting that I have to add in in line to this hose with using this. Now this is only for the 97 through 2000 version of this particular strainer. Once you get into 2000 and up, they do not seem to have this Venturi line anymore. So you won't need to worry about that. But anyway, so I lost that footage. I just wanted you guys to know how that came apart so that you'll know the part that you missed. Okay, so while we're waiting on that fitting so we can finish that up, we're gonna go ahead and come over here to the power plug for the pump. And we're gonna have to get that swapped out with the one that fits this new pump, which is this one. But we don't want a lot of extra wire in here. That's just gonna make things more complicated than they need to be. So what we're going to do is just take this, strip this wiring back, and strip this wiring back <laughs> and then we're going to do a couple things here let me grab my stuff you want to make sure there's a good connection here because if it's loose or something like that you run the risk of it coming loose and then the pump dying on you so what I'm going to do is just heat shrink and solder these in here and that way I know that they're completely solid and I'm not gonna have to worry about it coming loose So we'll just take the red one to the gray one like this and I like to just twist them together, solder them and then we'll heat shrink over the, the whole thing. this soldering iron get good and hot and solder this stuff on here when you've got it soldered well enough they won't wiggle with each other anymore at all. Then what we're going to try to do is just bend this back together like that. A bigger piece of heat shrink next time. Alright, so we're going to go with a bigger piece of heat shrink on this one. And we're going to split this up a little bit too. Just get this. And this back together like we did the other one. Trim a little bit of that off, I think, just because it's a little bit 
a little too chunky. Put the bigger heat shrink over top of that. Got my heat gun. I'm just going to heat that up. Should shrink it down over top of that. sure that's all down like it's supposed to be okay so here is a picture of the fitting installed you just put it in line to the new hose it will be very tight so be prepared to fight with it then you're just going to take this assembly line it up and put it back in like this you don't have to push it all the way down yet though because the next thing that we're going to do is heat this so we can force it over the end of that hopefully we can do that with a heat gun we'll see how it works Okay, and then I skipped ahead a little bit, but basically this is the finished product. I'm going to go ahead and tell you if you've got a Venturi pump and you have to reattach this Venturi line, it is going to suck. I went through, I don't know, maybe five attempts to get this reconnected good. It's got to be on there well enough that it's really attached to that Venturi fitting. So don't halfway, don't halfway do this, but it is not going to be easy. I mean, it's going to be getting the end of this tube the right temperature just hot enough that it will go on and not so hot that it just crumbles and falls apart so that was a huge pain but it's in there now so the next thing to do is get it back in the car the installation is just the reverse of taking it out the big tip there is lubricate the o-ring first so it'll make putting the the sender back in a lot easier then just reconnect everything and you're just going to turn the key on Listen for the pump to run, which I heard. And then we have ignition. And that's all there is to it. It's not a bad install. The, the part that you do in here um, inside the sender can kind of suck. Um, hopefully I showed you a little bit of what to expect there and that'll make things a little bit easier. Now in 2000 and up, from what I understand, the Venturi pump is no longer part of the sender. So if you're using one of those, you probably don't have to do that step. Uh, you would just do the other parts that I did, but you just have one solid hose there with no Venturi fitting. But other than that, as far as a review goes, I would say I'm pretty happy with the pump. Car cranked up and ran right away. Um, I did throw that um, ZZP high flow fuel filter in there but I didn't film that because I've done a video on that before and it's exactly like stock. There's nothing special that you do at all. But cranked right up, it ran. The pump is really nice and quiet, which is nice for a 340 liter per hour pump. I, uh, it doesn't sound any different than stock. My air fuel ratio looks good all the way across the board. I'm gonna take it to the track the 18th. So we'll see how things go there as far as if it runs as good as it's supposed to or what the long-term uh, of this looks like I will be checking my tune and doing some data logging too so we'll see where that goes but overall I've got to say I would recommend the AEM pump um, if you need an upgraded pump it is cheaper than stock it is more work to install but it's not that much more work to install here's your part number and I got that from ZZP with the Venturi fitting and with the filter so check all that out. Drop me a like on this video. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you think that there's a better option or if you've tried this pump or whatever, or if there's anything else you'd like to see me try, drop that down in the comments as well. And uh, I'm going to get out of here for this one. Make sure you're subscribed to see the next video and I will see you in that one. Thank you very much for watching and peace.